Paul, first away win of the season from, I would reckon, our best performance of the season. Oh, God, there's, there's no doubt about that. I mean, it was an absolutely outstanding performance. Um, I mean, we've won the game 3-1, but you think we missed a penalty. Um, Sean is one-on-one. -on -one. I think their goalkeeper's pulled off two really good saves. Um, I just thought, hey, listen, I'm delighted we scored three goals. I'm delighted with the football we've played. But that was built today on an unbelievable, solid team performance. Um, a discipline to go and do the horrible side of the game, to, to chase, to tackle, um, to do all of them things. And that's what it was built on today. And it's, uh, oh, listen, what, what a day. We've waited for that. We've, we've waited for that result. I think we've had games where we've had bits of that performance, but that result we've been waiting for. And, what a place to come and get it with that many fans backing us behind the goals. And I, I said it during the week that one of the things I always say is get a picture in your mind of those fans at the end. And I said it at half-time that we'd given ourselves a base um, and now we've got to go and finish it off by giving our fans something to shout about. And wow, did they shout. I'll tell you what, it's, it's also come off the back of going behind at a place like this and recovering from it, a bit of character. Yeah, without a doubt, yeah. I mean, it was. Um, I was disappointed because the... We didn't want them to get that slide ball in between our, our centre-back and our full-backs. We wanted to be compact and we talked about forcing it to go wide and then we, then we have to go and do, do the work then and we let it go through there. Um, they, they play a shape that gives you problems because they, they, they're comfortable on the ball, they want to play out. They've got, whether it's Thomason or Sheehan playing that holding role and then they've got the eights in Morley and, and Sheehan if he was there and, and, um, and Dempsey. They give you a problem, but I just thought every single one of them and the boys who came off the bench came and put in a proper shift today, and that's what you have to do if you're going to earn results. Could have crumbled again when we missed the penalty. Yeah, disappointed in that. Um, I mean, we've we've talked about it for weeks now that Jordan Gibson was on penalties. Um, I, I'll, I'll be honest with you, we never talked about it before the game because I just automatically thought Gibbo was on him. He went and got the ball, but then the next time I looked round, Joe's on it. And I'll, I'll never criticise players for missing pens because I've done it myself. But it's those little things that if Gibbo's on him, then go and take it, go and, go and stick with what the plan is. Um, but uh, listen, we, we've got away with it. I mean, we've talked for weeks about missed penalties that we've not been getting. Um, and we've got two today, delighted with those. Um, I still think we're owed a few, um, but it's a big result that we can all enjoy today. Give a little more pressure on him for that second one because of the miss that's just gone before. Yeah, you do, but as a, as a player, you have to try and you have to forget about what's gone before. It's the, it's the here and now, and, and he kept his composure. I, I mean, Jordan Gibson, we've talked about him for a few weeks now about his level of performance, and I thought he was excellent today. And I mean, what, what an achievement to come to a place like Bolton and get a hat trick, um, taking the ball away, composure. Um, for, for the penalty, his other one, again, being brave enough to take a shot. I think it's took a deflection, but it doesn't really matter. And then, you know, one, once we've defended that first ball from the from the corner, and I know the goalkeeper's out, it's it's then just a case of keeping your composure. And I've got, I've got to say, I was concerned when he did his little Cruyff turn, and and um, when the goal's gaping, we've got Terry one side. I think it was Alfie the other, but uh, thankfully he had the composure just to slot it in. And what a what a feeling that is. I've, I've got to be honest, I didn't even see the celebrations with our fan because somebody jumped on my back. I think it was Joe Garner. But um, I'm sure I'll look back at it again. But it's 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 one game. It, that's the thing we have to remember. We've all enjoyed this and, I'm, and I certainly will enjoy this tonight. We go again now. We've got to make sure we build on this and we make sure we get something out the next ones as well. I might be wrong with this, but it looked like Jordan had run himself into the deck at the point when that ball comes to him. But he finds that energy because of the, the moment and he gets himself a hat-trick. Well, that's it. You do find energy. when you're. Uh, it's amazing when you're a forward-thinking player and, you, and you, you, you've got an opportunity to go and score. It's amazing how you can find that energy to get it. And, and even Alfie was getting... I thought Alfie was shot to pieces as well. He's going down with cramp. But, and they all were. I mean, Sam had cramp with about 20 minutes to go. Jack Armour... Mox came off because he got a knee in his hamstring that he felt it was cramping up. So um, what that tells me is we need to keep working. We need to keep working them and make sure we're more robust and resilient um, because we should be getting cramps every game. We should be working like we have done today to earn a really, really big three points. Just the last one on Gibbo. He's never, ever scored a brace in his career. He's come here and, and done a hat-trick. Oh, well, he's, uh, he's obviously learning. He's obviously improving that... Uh, 
listen, we've talked for weeks that he should be getting more goals, um, but he gets assists, he gets goals, assists, assists were, were really good last year, he's now added some goals to it, and um, I'm really pleased, really pleased with what he's doing, I'm, I'm pleased with everybody today, I think today has been a, a real full performance from everybody, from, from Thomas in goals with some of the things he did, right up to Joe Garner, I thought Joe Garner was absolutely outstanding the way he led the line on his own, he got free kicks, he got hold of it, he linked it for us, um, it's just a really, really big performance. I can't remember if you said it off camera or on camera, so I'll, I'll go over it again, the discipline and the shape, the, the, the way we defended it was... That, that was the bedrock to what happened today? Well, that was that was sort of my main message from, from after our final meeting today was we are going to have to have discipline today. We're going to have to play with the discipline. When we don't have the ball, I talked about the way that they play. We had to be really patient without the ball and then we had to be calm when we got it as well and not keep tossing it back to them. Um, and, it, and it was about discipline because... I've been in grounds where, the, where there's a big crowd and it's, and it's easy to lose your head and, and, and not play the game of football. You end up playing the whole occasion. I thought the discipline was outstanding, the way they stuck to the task, stuck to the job, were patient out of possession and I think we've shown some good quality in possession as well. Again, you've said this, it's one game, we can enjoy it, we have to enjoy something like this, but you want it to carry on now, don't you? Well, we have to because... Next weekend when we're at home against Orient and there's a lot of teams who won't be playing if it's the same as the last international break um, and is maybe not 20 odd thousand, I'm quite sure there'll be a good crowd. Um, I'd like to think everybody who came today will turn up again next weekend. Um, when it's not the hype that goes with playing a team at the top of the table, but you know, we, we found it tough against Orient last season and I want to make sure we do it properly this weekend because if we can do it right at home on, on Saturday, this is an even bigger one. Another huge confidence boost is the number of chances created, not just the three that have been scored, but the other, as you've mentioned, really good chances. I thought we created some real good opportunities. I think the players are, they have a good understanding of the shape we want to play. The two wide players are joining in when they can. Midfielders are getting forward and we're getting shots on the edge of the box. I thought our set plays were OK but we've, in, in terms of the delivery, but we've got to get somebody on the end of things and make them count. So. There was loads of good things today and you don't come to a place like Bolton and win 3-1 and, and there's lots of things wrong. So it's good, it's good today. Um, we have to make sure it's good next week as well. Hunt's here, not in the 18, what can you say about that? Yeah, he's, he, he, uh, he complained of a sore calf after the game on Tuesday. Um, I didn't see it at the time, but possibly that sprint down the line to celebrate that equaler, but he, he equaliser, but he complained of a sore calf. Um, so sore that we got it scanned and he's got a I, I can't remember the name of it now but he's got a he's got a small strain in his calf that's probably going to be three or four weeks maybe um, and unfortunately at this stage of his career that's what happens um, so we've just got to get him right it's about the players who we've got available now to go and uh, go and do the job and uh, make sure that we're in a we're in a good position come next weekend last one Paul to do with your staff a lot of the fans are asking what's with the, the kit man um, job advert that we did later yeah. in the week, what, what's going on with that one? Um, well, we've had conversations with Colin and um, he's decided that he wants to retire at the end of the season, um, so he's going to be moving on. Um, I, 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 to be honest with you, I, I started the conversation because he's it, to come in as the kit man, it's not something that somebody can just drop into the building overnight, there's going to be a transition period where somebody learns the, learns the job, um, unless they are experienced in the job. Um, we've got Dino helping at the moment who's, who's experienced at the job but um, it's just one of those things where life moves on, life changes and we've advertised, we'll see who applies for it and we'll make that decision as we go f further forward. Definitely the last one, 4,407. Oh wow, incredible, the noise was incredible, it really was um, and I'll be honest, when we, we got here really early and went for pre-match um, further, further on from the ground and we went past a, a pub where... Um, where all the supporters were and it was magnificent to see and it, it's funny because we have we have this guy over in, in America who um, every now and again he, he gives us a bit of money to help on the football side of things to, to add a little bit of equipment that's going to help the football a guy called Bernard Bewley and, and he, he texted me yesterday and said you know don't because I'm saying you know we've got to get results to go with what we're doing and he said to me well you have to look at what it was like two years ago when you came into this place and there was a bad feeling about the football club. We had no fans coming in and I saw those fans today and you think, wow, and he just said to me, take a deep breath when you're feeling a bit down and just think about it. And 
I did that today when I saw those fans and you think, wow, we've, we have come a long way. We can still go further. And we've got to make sure we keep driving each other to go further because we've got support from America. We've got people in Australia who are sending messages wanting to help. And then we've got, what was it, nearly 4,500 make a journey here today and make a hell of a noise and make it a flipping good day and I'm going to certainly enjoy my night. So I've got a little bit emotional. Let's mark the date. Thank you, Paul. Thank you.